OSHA 30, Construction, Final Exam, Question and Answer, Part 32. Question, the majority of incidents involving contact with running equipment and machinery are due to a. Mechanical failure, b. Lack of OSHA inspections, c. Unguarded equipment, d. Inadequately guarded equipment, e. Both c and d. Answer. E. Both C and D. Question. Improper gloves, loose fitting dusting, jackets, belts, jewelry, hair, or safety equipment, such as fall protection lanyards, can lead to safety. Incidents if A. Worn improperly, B. Caught in moving parts, C. Not kept clean, D. Both A and B. Answer. D. Both A and B. Question. Research has shown that, dash, construction workers are the most at risk for caught in running equipment or machinery hazards. A. Trained. B. Young and inexperienced. C. Older. D. Fast. Answer. B. Young and inexperienced. Question, when used properly, what safety equipment can protect operators from being thrown from their equipment and from being crushed during a tip over? A. Rollover protective structure, ROPS, B. Seat belt use, C. Exit jump training, D. Both A and B. Answer, D. Both A and B. Question. What can be done to prevent caught in or between incidents involving rolling equipment? A. Shut down equipment before doing repairs or inspections. B. Chalk the wheels on any equipment that can roll. C. Never work under equipment supported only by a hydraulic or mechanical jack. D. All the above. Answer. D. All the above. Question. All exposed moving parts must have dash in place to prevent inadvertent contact during operation. A. Safety guards. B. Warning signs. C. Main power switches. D. D lights. Answer. A. Safety guards. Question. Employers are required to a. Provide protection to all workers during trenching and excavation work. B. Provide the means to avoid collapsing structures and scaffolds. C. Designate a competent. D. Provide effective safety training for workers and competent persons. E. All the above person. Answer. E. All the above person. Question. Improper gloves, loose fitting clothing, jackets, belts, jewelry, hair, or safety equipment, such as fall protection lanyards, can lead to safety incidents if A. Worn improperly, B. Caught in moving parts, C. Not kept clean, D. Both A and B. Answer D. Both A and B. Question what should not be used to support a scaffold because they could collapse. Sending the structure to the ground, A. Cinder blocks. B. Sill plates. C. Substantial timbers. D. Hard, undisturbed ground. Answer, A. Cinder blocks. Question, a competent person must be designated for. A. Scaffold erections. B. Inspections of excavations, adjacent areas, and protective systems. C. Engineering surveys prior to structure demolitions. D. Continuing inspections. Continuing inspections during demolition. E. All the above. Answer. E. All the above.